Hey. <laughs> Welcome home, baby. And how was your day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am in a really good mood. I just missed you so much. Now, come here. Yes, right now, I need you in this bed. Mm. 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 Melissa is at practice. And we have the house all to ourselves. Yeah, would you look at that? And I have been reading all the text you've been sending me while you're at work. Yeah. And it looks like somebody's been a very bad girl. Mm. And I've been waiting all day to grab your throat like this and just... Knock, knock! Oh! <laughs> <coughs> Uh, hey, sweetie. You're home early. <laughs> Come here. Give me a hug. Mm, I missed you, sweetie. Wow. <laughs> you are really sweaty. <laughs> Seems like boxing practice went well. Dad. What? <laughs> What's wrong, sweetie? Hey, what did I say? Melissa! Ugh, I don't know what's gotten into that girl. Yeah, I mean, I know. But even still, she shouldn't be barging into our room like that. I don't know. We used to be so close. But lately, she just never wants to talk to me. Yeah, I know, sweetie. She's not a little kid anymore. But I didn't think her being 16 would make her such a brat. Nah, I mean, that's true. She is your kid. Oh, don't look at me. She doesn't get that from me. I can promise you that. Ah, <laughs> hey. Stop throwing pillows. Even if it was cute. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah. Mm. 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 Maybe you're right. I'm sure she's not happy about the move. All her friends are here and I know she's not really interested in moving that far away. She'll adjust, don't you think? Maybe. <sighs> oh, thank you, baby. You massaging my neck like that is so needed. <sighs> I just hope that we're doing the right thing. Don't get me wrong, we've had this house forever. I mean, she grew up here, I'm sure. I'm sure she doesn't want to leave. But you got a really great work opportunity. I mean, we just can't pass it up. And because I get to work from home, it doesn't really affect me, so... It just seems like the logical decision. <laughs> You're too good to me. I... I just hope I'm being a good dad still. The older she's gotten, the more I feel like I just don't have a handle on her. <laughs> Nobody told me having teenage kids would be this hard. Mm, thank you, baby. Mm. I love you so much. I swear you're the one keeping this whole family thing together. Hmm, you think so? I mean, me and my mom used to butt heads all the time. <laughs> like, 
all the time. It was, um, what was that quote from the Joker? Um, no, 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 not the Joker. Uh, the Dark Knight. Thank you. See? See? You're on it. <laughs> uh, uh, what was I saying? Right, right. Uh, quote. Um, me and my mom were like an unstoppable force versus an immovable object or something like that. It's kind of funny to see I was the child and me and my mom would butt heads. Now I'm the father with my child butting heads. What I'm trying to say is our grandkids are screwed. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I'm sure they're going to be fine. Ah, ah, hey, 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 don't squeeze so hard. <laughs> Speaking of the move, come lay with me. Yes, come hither. <laughs> I've been looking at a whole bunch of different properties, and I need your input. Mm-hmm, come snuggle with me. <sighs> I love holding you like this. Are you comfortable, by the way? Okay, just want to make sure. I still have a tendency to, like, hold way too tightly. <laughs> <sighs> you feel so soft and warm. You smell so good. <laughs> oh, I could just hold you like this all day. And if I have my way, I might make that happen. Yeah, I know. I'll talk with her later. I think it's, um... I think it's best to just... Give her her space, you know? At least for right now. Maybe later we can go out and get something to eat. Oh yeah, mommy. It's just me being sweet. In reality, I just don't want to cook. <laughs> Unless you want to make something, that's fine. I'm just... No, not today. Sorry. <laughs> okay, deal. Mm, we'll figure it out later. First, let's just check these places out. Um, yeah, I know she's not having boy issues. I know, because she's not allowed to date. Uh, yeah. Not until she's 30. <laughs> anyway, what do you think of this one? It's a nice little bungalow. Three bedrooms and two and a half bath. The size? Um, the size is, um... Give me one second so I can scroll. It's a little over seven acres for about 1.7 million. <laughs> oh, come on, sweetie. That's not that much. Mm. Anything for you. Plus, it's in a really good area. Exactly. It's in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's in the country. Oh, you know I love people. I just don't want to be around them ever. So, check out these pictures and tell me what you think. Yeah, I agree, actually. I'm not a huge fan of the color of the kitchen or, like, the appliances that they already have set up in it. But we can always just paint over it and change that over. What do you think of this, though? No, no, right here. Um, they have a bay window already set up in it, which is really nice. Like, just picture that. From the kitchen, you can see the mountainside. It's really, really beautiful. Mm, of course, baby. I want you guys to have the best in the world. And if you look over here, you can see the backyard. Just picture all the cookouts with friends coming over. Having a good time. Fighting over who had the best mac and cheese recipe. 
Um, you know my mom got that unlocked, but anyway. I think it just would be nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need that much space, because I was thinking of starting a farm. Look, if you get a pole, I get cows. That was the agreement. <laughs> I just want a lot of space for our grandkids. Well, most of it was going to be for the farm animals. How many grandkids do you think we're going to have? <laughs> we're just going to have a farm of grandkids. <laughs> we're going to start an army. Is that is that the plan? <laughs> just an army of toddlers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? When you say that out loud, that actually sounds kind of cool. No, I, <laughs> hey, stop biting my shoulders. I'm not getting any ideas. Plus, honestly, I think we're still a little young to be thinking about grandkids. Not seriously, at least. Hey, say what you want to say. My little girl is still my little girl. She's nowhere close to having grandkids. Huh? Our son? He's like 12. <laughs> and plus he still thinks pro wrestling is real. Wait, what? Babe. <laughs> of course it's not real. The only thing that he cares about is playing the violin. Moving closer to me, baby. Yeah, just like that. You know, a friend of mine actually moved to this neighborhood, too. Or the area, I guess. Yeah, her and her husband, I think, moved there, like, uh, I don't know, maybe, like, three years ago. And they said it was great. I mean, the only downside is that the hospital's, like, a little drive away, but the schools, the neighborhood... Everybody in the community is very nice. Very friendly, too. It's just something to consider. We wouldn't be completely alone in the new area, I guess. Hey, that's fine. You don't have to be sold on this one house. There's plenty to look through. Okay, um... So, what were you looking for in particular? Well, no, I'm asking so I can narrow it down. There's like a super long list, so if I have a better idea what you're looking for, then it would make it a lot easier. Okay, keep talking. Let me see if I can find something like that. No, no, it's fine. Keep going, keep going. I'm looking. No, 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 you're fine. Keep going. Okay, what about this one? Five bedroom, 5.5 .5 bath for 3.3 million. I mean, yeah. But baby, remember, <laughs> our budget is only like 3 million. Plus, this is more of a penthouse kind of a deal. And they only have a two car garage. Wait, what? <laughs> You want a 12-car garage. Well, why would you want a 12-car garage when you only have six cars? No, no. <laughs> no, stop it. I'm not judging you. I'm just judging your decision-making. That's all. <laughs> hey, stop it. If you bite me, I'm going to bite you back. Yeah, yeah, you know I will. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> mm. Do you like that? Yeah, it's not funny anymore, is it? Oh! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I admit, it's nice. It's definitely nice. But are you sure you want to be, like, in the center of the city? I thought we were trying to get away from the city. Like, just live right outside of the city. 
so we kind of get the space, but also live just close enough to the city. So if we want to have some fun, we can always just take a drive into the city. I think that's the best move, but I'm obviously open to anything. Oh yeah, speaking of which, did you call our agent back yet? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, baby. What did you say? Ah, fooey. Well, uh, uh, I'd say give it some more time. I'm sure we can get somebody who's interested sooner or later. So, were you serious about Melissa and quote-unquote boy trouble? Is there something that you know that I don't? Ah, uh, yep, yep, I see it on your face. What do you know? Go on, baby. Spill it. <sighs> of course his name will be Chad. Is that the guy she's going to prom with? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, maybe we should have him over for dinner. And we can have a chat. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. What? I'm just casually looking up some bats. He doesn't need kneecaps to talk to me. Do we still have Prime? I'm trying to get that same day ship. Ah! <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding. But I am just going to bookmark this. That, nah, 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 just, just in case. Just in case. Nah, I'm not too, too worried. Melissa's a very smart girl. And she's not the one to fall into peer pressure so easily. She's too stubborn for that. <laughs> Plus, it's just prom. Nothing's gonna happen. Um, no. Our prom experience will never be like theirs. Huh, what's up, baby? <laughs> Are you tired? Sure, you having your eyes closed looking at houses. It's alright if you're tired. Mm. You had a long day. Makes sense. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to hear it. Mm -mm. Let me just move this over here. Come here, come here. Come cuddle me. Don't worry. We have everything under control. I know you're feeling really stressed about the whole moving thing, but don't worry. It'll be tough, but Melissa will adjust. Our son's not going to care. And we also could do the thing we discussed where she's 16 now. Maybe we can just hold off. Yeah. By then, she might be starting college. Or trade school. Or not, I don't know. I'm not even sure that she knows what she wants to do yet. <sighs> well, I mean, regardless of whatever she wants to do, she's just going to have to work really hard for it. And plus, if we do wait another two years, our son would be just starting high school. So it wouldn't be too, too hard on him. I don't know. Uh, so much to think about. <laughs> so let's not think about it right now. Yeah. Let's just go to sleep. No, uh, That's true. We gotta feed them. Do we have to? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Let's have adult nap time. <laughs> and then figure out dinner after, okay? Okay, sounds good. Mm. Mm. I love you, baby. Rest up.